Manchester United have just signed Anthony from Ajax. He's going to slot in here on the right wing. They've signed him for a lot of money, and when you sign a player for a lot of money, it's really important that they perform well. So in this video, I'm going to look at some of the reasons why Manchester United fans should be excited about signing Anthony. Anthony is a 22-year-old right winger. He's from Brazil. He started out his career at Sao Paulo in Brazil, moved over at the age of 20 to Ajax and has had a couple of seasons there and is now moving to Manchester United. Let's take a little bit of a look at his data to see the sorts of things that we can expect from him. So on the pizza chart in front of me, we've got Anthony's last season with Ajax and it's really important at this point to remember that this season was played with Eric Ten Hag as the manager so we're not only seeing what Anthony can do we're also seeing what Anthony can do under Eric Ten Hag which is important because he is the Manchester United manager so let's just take a look and the first thing to look at is actually the defensive numbers here so at the bottom the red segments cover the defensive side of the game and it's really important to see that actually Anthony is performing pretty well in that system and as we saw in Manchester United's win against Liverpool recently whilst they were very good in terms of the off the ball transitional stuff they were also really good out of possession that's really fundamental to an Eric Ten Hag system so as we can see Anthony has all of the attributes that he needs defensively beyond that in terms of the possession side of things you can see all of the sorts of things that Eric Ten Hag wants from his players so things like ball retention things like link up play volume things like progressive passing this is a system where all of the players have their role to play and the idea is to move the ball into those more dangerous areas and contribute in that collective way and we can see those things happening in the numbers here. Now you might look at the carry and dribble volumes here and think that because it's a little bit lower than the other areas that Anthony is not a good carrier or dribbler but he is in fact a fantastic dribbler. He can go both ways around opponents and that's one of his most dangerous attributes. The reason why it's a little bit lower here is because of the system so it's important to keep that in mind. And so if we look at the attacking metrics here, those are the blue segments, we can see that actually through ball progression, Anthony is adding a huge amount of expected goals for his team as well. And there's also shots here too. So the big question is, how is Anthony going to fit into this Manchester United team? And in order to answer that, we need to have a think about the player who he will be replacing on this right-hand side, which is Jadon Sancho. Now, it's important to remember that actually Jadon Sancho will probably be moved across to the other side of the field but it's instructive to look at the differences between Anthony and Sancho to see what differences that's going to make bringing Anthony in. So let's just add a back four here so we can experiment and see what these two wingers are doing. Now Jadon Sancho is not the sort of player who when he gets into these isolated moments with opposition fullbacks is going to be able to just run one way or the other cause them problems and get in behind in those ways. In fact, Sancho is a bit more of a playmaker in build-up. So what he likes to do is to get close to his fullback, his midfielders, his striker, and be involved in these build-up passes, these quick passes, and generate space through this passing. So in this situation where Sancho is up against a fullback, we saw before, isolated 1v1, rather than trying to go around in one way or the other, Sancho is actually much more likely to play this pass into, let's say, Fernandez here, make the run down here, and then receive the pass back from Fernandez after that run has been made. So Sancho is a player who needs players around him and will generate space through smart play in that way. When it comes to Anthony, it's a very different story. So Anthony is a left-footed player, but actually plays on the right. And whilst you might think that that would mean he's always inverting, he loves to start from this sort of area here, from the touchline from which he can then go either down the line or inside as well. But when he gets into these sorts of situations where he can get isolated against fullbacks here, he does have the ability to go either down the line or cut inside. And when he does get inside, there's gonna be two things that he likes to do. On the one hand, he can just get the shot away directly and he likes to curl it in with his left foot, obviously. But the other thing he can do is he plays these really nice chipped balls into the back post with a little bit of curve on them. And then he can get all of his teammates running in on these lines to the back post here, all making a problem for the goalkeeper. And then the ball can come in here and can get played in. I've got a couple of screenshots to show you what this looks like. So these are all assists that Anthony made last season. So as you can see, Anthony's now cut inside into this right-sided half space, and he's gonna play the ball in here. You can see his teammates all coming in at the back post. Here's another one, a little bit deeper this time, but again, coming in from the touchline, and again, he plays the ball into the back post. You can see four players lined up here expecting that ball coming in. 
And he doesn't just do it from the right, he can also do it from the left. So in this case, he picks up the ball, I think from a free kick situation, and then he plays it into the back post and one of his teammates comes in. And again, on this one, he comes all the way across from the right hand side to pick the ball up, takes it out wide and then chips it inside and Sebastian Allaire can finish it here. But the other thing that he can do in these sorts of situations is that he can also go down the line and that creates problems for fullback. So again here we can see that fullback is pinned against Anthony here, so he's being pulled out, he's generating space for his teammates. But this player here thinks that Anthony is going to cut back inside and play one of those crosses to the back post. But in this instance he actually pulls the ball back down the line and as you can see here gets into this really dangerous space on the byline in the box plays the ball across and one of his teammates can just finish it in there. So Anthony is a very dangerous player when it comes to getting into that half space. So what kind of benefit does Eric Ten Hag get from having Anthony in his team? Well, to think about the answer to that question, we need to think a little bit about wing dynamics. We've just talked about how Sancho is a player who likes to have other teammates around him so that he can create space using smart passing and intelligent movement. That means that he is going to want to work with a fullback who actually gets down the line or can invert so that he can play these smart one twos and get into space himself. Now on the other side we have Diogo Dalot who is a bit more of a conservative fullback. He's not going to be making runs in beyond the wide player here. He's just going to be happy sitting in here. And so with a winger like Anthony who likes to get down the line or inside who can pin the winger really far wide, Dalot can just sit in this space here, keep things defensively secure and allow Anthony to do his thing. So by bringing in Anthony, Eric Ten Hag is able to sort out his wing dynamics a little bit so that he can get the best out of the relationships between these two players, between Dallo and Anthony, and then players like Shaw or Malassia and Sancho over on this side as well. So why should Manchester United fans be excited about Anthony? Well, on the one hand, he is an exciting player in and of himself, but more importantly, he fits into an Eric Ten Hag system. And part of the reason why he's being brought in is to be able to lift Manchester United's squad to that level where they can start playing the sort of football that Eric Ten Hag wants them to play. And on top of this, and perhaps most importantly, Anthony offers something to this Manchester United squad that they just don't have. And that is a dribbler on the right hand side who can get up 1v1 against fullbacks and go around them either way. And for that reason, Manchester United fans should be very excited about this transfer. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic brings you the best sports journalism in the world in a personalised experience, connecting you with the stories and teams that you care about the most. There's coverage of 13 sports, plus direct access to world-class journalists through live Q&As, discussions and podcasts. Not to mention, it's all ad-free. And you can try it now for free for 30 days by clicking the link in the description.